This is the Black Ronin Tomahawk. It is a budget priced Tomahawk and it is a very lightweight Tomahawk. This one has been extensively modified. Uh, the edge has been reprofiled. I added some paracord grip on the uh, top half of the handle. The bottom half came with that kind of bootlace grip, but it is alright. This Tomahawk also had two ornamental uh, spikes on the upper half of the handle and those have been ground off because they were they were just in the way right top spike has been sharpened and the back spike has been sharpened as well let me show you these in close up all right as you can see from the wear and tear marks I have already tested this and beat it up all right the edge was not too bad when it arrived but went ahead and you know, reprofiled and sharpened it anyway now it's extremely sharp the back, the back spike is just wickedly pointed, and an edge has been put on the bottom there. Uh, this spike has been sharpened. It doesn't come sharp, All right, but it's been sharpened in those directions. I added this paracord mainly for the coolness factor of paracord, but also if you want to choke up, it, it gives a very good grip, and if I just need some extra cordage. It came with this cordage already on it. It's not paracord, but it'll do. It's all right. At least it stayed on, right? And I unraveled the bottom part right there. I unraveled it and then taped it in place. And that, right, so I can, I can use it like so. All right, at this point, I'm going to roll in some demonstration footage of chopping with this hawk. Alright, so how did the Black Ronin feel in hand? Well, it's an extremely fast and lightweight hawk. I mean, I felt like boom, boom, boom. I felt like I could just uh, do speed chopping like crazy and not, you know, not get tired whatsoever. So, you know, it's a fast little hawk. Now, the Black Ronin does come with this sheath. It's Velcro. Alright, and you see how the hawk can fit inside. All right, Velcro closures there and there. All right, and there's just this, you know, little belt loop there. All right, so that is that is the sheath. That is the sheath that it comes with. All right, here's a size comparison between the Black Ronin and a very popular hawk, the Cold Steel Trench Hawk. As you can see, uh, the Black Ronin is a fairly uh, short lightweight hawk just want that to be clear the scale uh, the trench hawk significantly a lot longer and a lot heavier all right all right so what are my conclusions about the black ronin well it does require some modification to become you know as useful as it can be primarily you got to grind off the two ornamental spikes that are on the upper half of the handle otherwise you you can't choke up on it and I know it's just much less useful all right so how do you do that you know uh, 
a large hardware store can do that for you if you don't have the equipment. All right, and after that, you know, you're going to want to sharpen it up. It comes, uh, it comes low sharpness, but still usable. But you're going to want to sharpen it up. All right, you might want to remove that grip. I found that grip was all right, but you might want to remove it and put your own. Probably want to put your own paracord or some uh, over grip ranger bands, whatnot. Now, what are the uses of this hawk? It's a light hawk. It's a speed chopper. All right, it's kind of like the uh, fast hawk, the SOG fast hawk. It's a little speed chopper. It's definitely not a heavy power hatchet or anything like that. But there is a use for speed choppers. Uh, also, one thing that's good about this hawk is the one-piece construction. Very unlikely to break. You know, your handle's not going to break. So I do like that a lot. The other main use of this hawk, it's more of a martial arts type hawk. I know a lot of people try to adapt a screama, basically stick fighting. They try to adapt that to the use of tomahawks. The problem with that is that most tomahawks are a lot heavier than your average Eskrima stick. Well this being an extremely lightweight hawk actually lends itself quite well uh, to adapting it to stick fighting or various martial arts. So it's more of a martial arts type weapon hawk. Alright, and if you do that, you might want to consider removing or blunting that back spike because it can interfere with some of the more intri intricate uh, Sinawali. But yeah, it's more of a martial arts type uh, hawk, but also it's just a nice budget hawk. I mean, this hawk costs like about $12 and then they're going to get you f for shipping, but you know, around $20 shipped. I mean, it, it's hard to go wrong. I mean, do I feel like I got my $12 worth? Definitely, yeah. I mean, just one or two camping trips and it's already worth it, all right? But overall, it's a fast and fun little hawk. All right, it's not, it's not something to jump in behind enemy lines with, but if you're looking for a budget hawk, a fast chopper, and kind of a martial arts type hawk for your training, I would strongly consider this. I mean, it's great for the price. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out.